This week, the Huskers go on the road to take on the Maryland Terrapins. Maryland, a team that looked really good at the start of the season, outscoring Howard and Syracuse by a combined score of 142 to 20. But ever since then, it's been a complete struggle for these Terrapins. In fact, ever since that 2-0 start, Maryland is only averaging about 17 points per game. And if you take out the outlier that they have in Rutgers, which they scored 48 points on Rutgers, that takes them down to an average of about 12 to 13 points per game. So that's the number that you want to hear if you're Nebraska, especially with Nebraska's defense allowing 35 points per game on average in the last three games. So that's a statistic that you want to hear. Although the bright spot for Nebraska, they're averaging about 26 points per game offensively in the last three games. So it's kind of looking a lot like last season, where the later on the season goes, the better Nebraska looks. But the only difference is, compared to last year, is this year they're not able to get wins. They could have one against Purdue. Maybe they probably should have. That was a very close game. That's just one by example. The second season in a row, they have had a close loss to Colorado in a game where they probably should have won. So at least Nebraska is showing some flashes of making some improvements. In fact, we saw a lot of improvement last week against Wisconsin. They even had an early lead against Wisconsin, scoring first, scoring off a turnover, taking advantage of a Wisconsin mistake. So it's getting a little bit better, but it's taking a lot more time than what we have anticipated. But I think possibly maybe three or four years down the line, maybe Nebraska can start pulling off some nine, ten win seasons down the road. But I feel like, I my, myself included, I really thought that this was going to be a quick turnaround. But it was not, and it's a huge lesson learned for the future, no matter what team you're looking at, that rebuilds just don't happen overnight. And that was my huge mistake coming into this season, predicting Nebraska would have this phenomenal season, winning 10, 11 games. But rebuilds takes a long time. It takes a while. Doesn't happen overnight. So, anyways. Maryland's defense. Now, this is also another big factor on why I think Nebraska, they will end up winning this game significantly. Maryland, as far as their defense is concerned, they are giving them an average of 34 points per game, which is 114th in the FBS, and it's 13th in the Big Ten, only better than Rutgers. That's another thing that you want to hear if you're Nebraska. Total offense. Nebraska, despite the offense not looking good in the early portions of the season, and despite only scoring 7 on Ohio State and 7 on Minnesota, Nebraska still averages about 417 yards per game, which is 59th in the FBS, while Maryland, they're towards the lower 30 of college football, 132nd, uh, excuse me, 102nd in total offense, only averaging about 360 yards per game. So some keys to this game is going to be third down defense because both these teams are not good on third down defensively. The team that is going to get off the field on third down, force some three and outs, and hopefully get your offense a short field position is what's going to have the best chance to win this game. But what I'm also interested to see is the passing offense versus the passing defense on both sides. Because Nebraska is 62nd in the country in pass defense, while Maryland, they're towards the bottom of the barrel in 114th in pass defense. That's the third number this week, well, the third statistic that you want to hear if you're Nebraska. And the running game is going to be a huge key for both sides as well, because I expect both sides to have a huge day on the ground. As Maryland's 85th in run defense, while Nebraska is 93rd in run defense. And multiple times this season, I have talked about Nebraska's run defense in Big Ten Conference play has been one of the worst statistically. In fact, they gave up over 200 yards to Jonathan Taylor last week. So my overall prediction for this game is I think with Nebraska needing two to win these last two games, 
to be bowl eligible, I think they get this win, but I'm not sure if it's going to be significant or not. I think Nebraska wins a close one because Maryland is known to push teams to the brink. They pushed Ohio State to the brink last year, and they almost beat Ohio State if they would have converted a two-point conversion in overtime. So I'm going to take Nebraska to win, I'm going to say a relatively high-scoring game. I'm going to say 37-34. to So I think Nebraska wins by three points.